Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you watch trigonometry part 1 to part 21. Let's take one problem where we have to find the value of x. We are told that tan 2x is equal to minus cot x plus pi by 3. We have to find tan 2x. So now if you see if you can convert this also to tan, we can directly equate the values. We know that cot of x is equal to tan of pi by 8. In fact, minus, minus of cot because all sine tan cos we have. The moment you say pi by 2 plus x, pi by 2 plus x, this becomes, yeah, this goes to second quadrant. Here only sine is positive, cot is negative, so we'll add minus cot here. So minus cot of x is equal to tan of pi by 2 plus x. So we can also say Rf is equal to minus tan of pi by 2 plus, I'll say theta here, theta here. So here in our case theta is equal to x plus pi by 3. This is our theta, correct? This whole thing is theta. So I'll say minus of cot of theta is equal to tan of pi by 2 plus theta. So, or I get tan of 2x is equal to tan of pi by 2 plus x plus pi by 2 or is equal to tan of 6 common. I'll add this to So, we'll get 5, 5 pi by 6 plus x. Also we can equate because both are tan here. So we get 2x is equal to 5 pi by 6 x. 5 pi by 6 plus x. Or we get x is equal to 5 by 6 pi. So this is our principal solution. Now when we talk about general solution, and since this is tan, so tan is n pi plus theta and theta is 5 by 6 pi, so n pi plus 5 by 6 pi. So this is what we get, where n is the member of z, please don't forget this. This is the value of x. What we have done, we have converted this cot into tan, and then we created both the side to get the principal solution, and then we found general solution for that. One more problem, here also we have to find the value of x, we have been told that sine 2x minus sine 4x plus sine 6x is equal to 0 and we have to find the value of Here also we observe that 2 plus 6 by 2 that is 2 plus 6 8 by 2 is 4 and this is 4. So if we can club these two we can get sine 4x common and we know that sine of a plus sine of b is equal to 2 sine a plus b by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2. Why we got this? Sine is initiating this conversation. So sine wants cos to be together. So it's sine into cos and it is a plus. So sine got the plus work and cos got the negative work. So we can write this equation into form sine 2x plus sine 6x minus sine 4x is equal to 0. Or we can say 2 of sine 6x plus 2x by 2 into cos of 6x minus 2x by 2 minus sine of 4x is equal to 0. We could have also written 2x minus 6x that will, would have come minus 4x. Cos of minus 4x is anyway cos of 4x. So it doesn't matter. We can write 6x minus 2x or 2x minus 6x is the same. So it, this becomes sine of 4x into cos of 6 minus 2 is 4 by 2 cos of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or we can say minus sine 4x sorry this sine 4x is equal to 0 or I'll take sine 4x common so this becomes cos of 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so I have two options one is either sin 4x is equal to 0 
और आई हैव कॉस टू एक्स माइनस वन इज बिल्डू जीरो और कॉस टू एक्स माइनस वन इज बिल्डू जीरो सो इफ यू टेक इक्वेशन वन आई गेट फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू जनरल प्रिंसिपल सॉल्यूशन विल बी जीरो इट इज एन पाई प्लस जीरो इज द जनरल सॉल्यूशन नो और एक्स दिस इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू एन पाई बाई फोर एन आई टेक दिस सॉल्यूशन आई गेट टू एक्स और कॉस टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू बिकॉज इट वॉज टू सॉरी इट वॉज टू और टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू इफ आई राइट द प्रिंसिपल सॉल्यूशन प्रिंसिपल सॉल्यूशन टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू दैट इज कॉस ऑफ थीटा इज कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू दैट मीन्स थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सो विल से सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू पाई बाई थ्री सो टू एक्स इजल टू पाई बाई थ्री और एक्स इज इक्वल टू पाई बाई सिक्स Now we got x equal to pi by six. Now we want to find the general value. So the the general value for x will be x is equal to since it is cos, it is n pi plus minus theta, and theta here is pi by six, so it is n pi plus minus pi by six. So we have two solutions: this and this. Either this is true. What we have done, we have found that two x and six x. If you add and divide by two, becomes four x. So we have taken this together. So we have got sine four x common. So we got this equation: sine x, sine four x into two cos two x minus one is equal to zero. That means either sine four x equal to zero or two cos two x minus one is equal to zero. And then we solve this. We got in first case x equal to n pi by four. In second case x equal to n pi plus minus pi by six. Find the value of x. Here it's given that two cos square x plus three sine x is equal to zero. If we can convert this cos square into sine sine square, we can have equation in sine square x, and we know that cos square x plus sine square x is equal to one. That is, cos square x is equal to one minus sine square x. So let's do that. Two into cos square x is equal to one minus sine square x plus three sine x is equal to zero. Now let's put sine x is equal to y just to make our life easy because it will we'll get a quadratic equation. So this I get two minus two y square plus three y is equal to zero. That is. 2y square minus 3y minus 2 is equal to zero. I took everything on the right hand side, and this I can write 2y square minus 4y plus y minus 2 is equal to zero because 2 into 2 is 4, and 4 minus 2 into minus 2 is equal to minus 4, and minus 4 plus 1 is equal to minus 3. So I get 2y into y minus 2. Plus one is equal to zero. That means y is equal to two or minus one by two. But we know that y can't be two because in case of y is equal to sine x, so sine x can't be two because the maximum and the minimum value of sine x is minus one to one. So we we'll ignore this part. So what we get is sine of x is equal to minus one by two because y is equal to sine x is equal to minus one by two or Here we'll find first uh, principal solution. So principal solution will be seven pi by six sine of seven pi by six equal to minus one by two. We know this. So the general solution will be we want to find the general solution. General solution will be n pi plus minus one to the power n into theta. And theta is seven pi by six because cos sine of seven pi by six equal to minus one. So this is the What we have done here, we have first converted cos square into sine square, and then we have written sine x equal to y to make our life simple. We found the quadratic equation, solved it. We got sine x is equal to two or minus one by two. We ignored two because sine x can't be two, and then we found the principal solution 
for uh, sin x equal to minus 1 by 2 that is 7 pi by 6 and then we found the general solution. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks a